Hello and welcome back to LeMaster Tech and in today's video I'm going to show you how to get started with the SCADA software called Ignition and we're going to show how to use it for free for hobbyists and makers so we're going to use the Ignition Maker Edition. To get started just go to Bing or Chrome or Google your favorite browser and type in Ignition for Makers. The company that makes the SCADA software called Ignition is Inductive Automation. So you'll see Inductive, you'll see Ignition, and occasionally you'll hear it referred to as a SCADA. Um, SCADA means supervisory control and data acquisition. It's just a layer of control software, but Ignition in particular has a ton of cool applications, even for things that hobbyists and makers can get behind, which is why they have a maker edition. Ordinarily, this is thousands of dollars to, for a corporate company um, to get a full-blown version of a SCADA software, but Ignition has released a lightweight version of it for free, which is super exciting because a YouTube channel like mine can give a bunch of tutorials on how to do things in Ignition without needing to shell out thousands of dollars to get like a full license. So that's pretty cool of inductive automation. Um, to get started, I'm already logged in. All you have to do is make a personal account. It'll ask you to verify an email, um, and then you'll be able to sign in to the link that is generated when you just type, uh, when you just click this button, uh, Get Ignition Maker Edition. Um, and then the first thing, I have generated a license key. I'm not going to show you guys because it's mine. Um, but uh, when you generate a license, there's just a big button here that says no licenses. And then you hit get license. And then it'll take like 30 seconds, generate a unique code. And you'll get two things. The license key, which is this number. And it's okay that you guys can see it. Because the other thing you get is a super long string of text, which is your unique license key. Um, and then you want to download the installer for whatever platform you're on. I'm on Windows, so I'll go ahead and download the Windows installer. And this video is kind of geared at getting you started with uh, a SCADA software. I think in the coming videos and on this series, we'll get into how to do lots of things with the SCADA, and I'll kind of talk through why you might want this. One, if you're in the world of controls and automation, and two, if you're a hobbyist or a maker, um, kind of show you why it's sort of cool to have access to a SCADA software, even in a home setting. So um, I'm looking forward to this series. I've had a lot of interest in controls and automation on the channel. Uh, and additionally, I have also had um, a lot of interest in um, Python programming on the channel and even like Arduino and hobby builds and making things. And a SCADA software is a really interesting spot to bring SQL, Python, Java, uh, and automation and controls obviously all together. So I'm looking forward to this series. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and do typical installation because you can do custom here and you can uh, choose modules to install or not install. Um, but you can also add modules at any time down the road. So you don't have to feel like if you don't customize your install in the beginning, you're stuck with features or without features that you might want later. That's no big deal. Um, so let's just go ahead and run the installer. And something super cool about Ignition, it has two uh, types of visuals. It has perspective, um, and I think the other one's called vision. I don't use vision, really. Perspective is a web-based one. So uh, any if you had a system of networked computers, it could be your house or it could be a company, um, you could uh, have hundreds of computers on the same network, and they're all able to pull up the views, the displays that you build in Ignition from uh, anywhere. So perspective is pretty cool. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and get the Maker Edition. This standard edition is pretty awesome, but you do have to pay for it. So let's just uh, get the personal use. I do, I do not agree. I do agree. And here's where I'm going to pause the recording because I need to put my license key and activation token in, and I don't want you guys to see my activation token. Okay, so you punch in your activation key and your license, and uh, then it asks you to make a username and a password. I make really strong passwords, so don't even try to hack me. Um, these we're going to leave uh, for now. We might mess around with some gateway port HTTP and HTTPS stuff, but really leaving them as the uh, default ports will not be a problem. Um, so start and launch the gateway now. Sure, shoot. Who cares? <laughs> Um, the uh, Ignition Gateway 
is sort of a hub. So you could have multiple projects that do different things, have different views, different scripts and tags underneath them. And the gateway is what brings them all together. So there's really typically only one gateway per installation. Um, enable quick start for new users. No, I'm like so good at Ignition already. Uh, I'm gonna start from scratch. So, but uh, when you download the designer and you uh, put that um, software on your computer that is like a desktop based tool that you use to build HMI displays in and uh, I'll install for all users install for all users it's just me using the computer um, and you can create a desktop shortcut here so this is nice it lets you um, access the designer from your desktop and uh, real quick to look through the gateway oh I have to log in okay so if we look at the gateway real quick after logging in, just a few things to highlight here. This is just your hub to tell you how many devices you have connected, what they can do for you, and uh, tell you some statistics about your performance. So by default, the gateway has access to two gigabytes of your RAM um, when you download it. And I have a computer running basically nothing other than um, Ignition and my video capture software. So the CPU is really not working particularly hard. Um, but you can also up this number. My computer doesn't have two gigs of RAM. It's given Ignition two gigs of RAM. So we'll do uh, how to increase RAM on Ignition in a future video. Um, for this video, I think the most useful thing to do would be uh, create our first view in Designer and uh, maybe add a couple tags and just show how to display them on a view. And we'll call that for the introductory video. I do do quite a bit of work with Ignition, so if you do have um, questions, be sure to drop them in the comments below, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. When you open up the designer, there's going to be nothing configured, and initially you can just hit Add Designer. Assuming you're doing all of this on your um, same computer, the designer should already be discoverable. You might uh, have to do like discover um, gateways on your network if you're using a different computer on the same network. Uh, but again, that's kind of like more advanced, and I start questioning, are you really doing this for makers? Um, but I guess also these videos could be super helpful for people who do have a corporate license. So um, now uh, when it shows up there and you hit open designer, it's going to give you a view um, that is a little bit daunting at first. There's, it's hard to make anything simple. Um, let's go ahead and log in. So I'm going to pause again. Okay, so after logging in, uh, if you have been working on projects in the past, they'll be here. If not, then you can just hit new project. Let's call this one Lamaster Tech, and then we'll say underscore tutorials, okay? Uh, project name, project title, I don't know, that seemed like a good title. I think uh, project, project template, parent project, we'll get into that in the future. You really don't need one right now. Um, connection settings, default is fine. OPC UA module for anyone using like PLCs, they're going to probably want the OPC module as user source, but you can also um, change all of this stuff later. So don't worry too much about those. Leaving them as the default is just fine. Um, stuff we're going to get into in future videos, tags and type of tags and how to use them, how to use SQL with Ignition, how to add PLCs and devices to Ignition, different types of displays, things like that. So if you have questions about anything specific with Ignition, be sure to drop them in the comments below. Uh, and now let's take a look at making a first view, okay? So let's go ahead and hit the plus on this first view that pops up. We are in perspective. So again, I talked a little bit earlier. Ignition has two HMI uh, tools. One is called Vision, and it's a like conventional based on a computer software. The other one is perspective, and it looks to me like perspective is the only one that's included with the For Makers edition, which is totally fine. Um, but when you the cool thing about perspective is it's web based and so that means that you can give URLs to every page. So let's just make one and we'll call it slash homepage. And it asks you what primary view you want, but because we haven't created any views yet, there's no views. So we'll expand uh, in the project browser, we'll expand the perspective section, and you'll see there's an area for views, but it's just an empty folder right now. If you right click, then you can hit new view and we'll call it homepage. 
home page, home page, there we go. Root container type, column container, breakpoint container, blah, 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 blah. Coordinate is gonna be your default. Go ahead and keep that. And when you make a uh, check page URL, it's doing this page for you, uh, this part for you in the background. So we'll actually hit create view. Um, and real quick, if you click back on views, you're gonna see ones that are linked and ones that aren't. So this is the one I was working on. I'm gonna delete this, yes. What you're doing is you're telling Ignition a series of pages that can be navigated directly to from a web browser as long as you're on the gateway, which is super interesting. Um, and we'll get into how to access it and what that actually means one video at a time right now. But so we have created a view called homepage and it is linked to the URL slash homepage. So simplest thing I can do uh, to show you guys like um, what Ignition is, is make a tag. Uh, so I think what I wanna do here is I wanna make a folder and I'll call this folder tutorial tags. Um, and SCADAs and PLCs and basically anything automation and controls really live off of the tag structure, um, which is just having, in conventional programming, you'd think of it as a variable. Um, in automation and SCADA software, it's a tag. It warehouses a tiny bit of data. It can be used for reading, writing, and logic. Um, so let's go ahead and make a memory tag, which means it just lives on Ignition. It lives on this computer. And we will call it... Uh, my first tag, okay? And let's make this a string and let's give it an initial value of why not? Hello world, okay? And let's go ahead and drag my first tag onto the screen and all we do is click on that tag and drag it onto the screen and it's gonna give us its top recommendations for what that data format might be. And so we'll hit label. And there you can see we have a tag that says hello world. Nothing crazy, nothing fancy going on here. Um, and if we hit save, so control S or the save button up here, we should now have a view called hello world. And so if we go back to, <laughs> my, my robot heard me say hello. Um, if we go back to the web, we can see how we can access this now. And actually, one thing we're going to do before we uh, access it from the web is we're going to make a URL um, for just the home page, and we're going to address it to that same page too. So what's interesting here is I've made a second address that will access the same page. If you've done a little bit of web development, you've probably seen that sort of thing. If not, no big deal, but this basically means that uh, this sh page should act as your home page as well. Um, so let's go ahead and see how you can actually view and access this thing. If I go back to uh, Edge and I just go to localhost8088, so this here, localhost8088, is going to be um, how you access it from the computer when you're on it. But you can also usually get to it if you just start typing in Ignition. You'll see here, it'll remember like Ignition L La Master Tech Engineering 1, Ignition Gateway. Um, and anything that has this orange dot is usually going to take you to somewhere on the gateway. It might have you log in, that's okay. Um, but uh, Anyways, when you want to view a project online, this homepage has download the designer, we've already done that, and it has view projects. And if you do that, the projects that you're making should be here. And if you hit launch project and agree that it is for hobbyist students and individuals, um, then what you can see is we have a page that says hello world, and that's super cool. Um, and if you had a forward slash homepage, it would still be this page because we gave it two different addresses. Um, but we're basically building a website that is uh, only for people who have access to your gateway. And that is something super cool and kind of unique about the Ignition SCADA software. You uh, have here is the first tag, the first display, how to get started with Ignition for Makers. What we'll be doing in this series is a lot of the basic stuff that you might need to know about um, 
to build various features in Ignition. I'll definitely focus mostly on the core functionality of how to do things with Ignition. And then I'll probably start um, showing how to do a lot of things for makers specifically. So I have a pretty cool garage workshop. I'll probably do a lot of automation projects in the garage, show how I use a SCADA to do that. So if you have ideas of what we should do with Ignition or things that would be useful for you to see, be sure to let me know about in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for checking out uh, the channel. And if you have any questions, let me know. If you have any ideas for future videos, let me know. And um, as always, good luck with your projects. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.